Hey y'all, what's up? It's the Book and Magnet, Christine Horn. I love this question. So your question is, what do you expect on your very first audition? Well, first of all, it depends on what you're auditioning for. Every audition is different. Are you auditioning for theater? Is it a commercial? Is it TV? Is it a voiceover? Is it a film? That's number one. So the first thing that will happen, just know that they're all different. The process is different. But let's just say it's a film and television audition because that's my specialty. That's what I teach. I teach actors how to book more TV. You're going to get a script. You're going to get a script sent to you. Maybe most times, not the full script, just a few pages. Like I have an audition sitting here that I have to prepare for. It's like four or five pages. Um, and so you print the scripts and you start doing research on the project. Um, you start memorizing your lines, you start building character, you start figuring out what you're gonna wear. If it's a self-tape, you need to learn how to self-tape. If you need help with that, the link in my bio has lots of resources for you. Um, and yeah, you may need to get a coach if you need coaching on that. Um, these days, we're not going in person. Everything is a self-tape, so you need to make sure your self-tape set up at home is good. That can be with a cell phone and a tripod and natural daylight or a ring light and maybe a, a backdrop if you have it. Again, you can get more tips on that by clicking the link in my bio. I have training on all of that. Um, if it's theater, sometimes they give you a monologue or a few scenes from the play. And if it's if it were in person, if this were not COVID times, back in the day, it feels weird to say that, but back in the day, you would go in at your appointment time, you'd wait in the lobby, they call you in, you stand in the middle of the room or on the mark on the floor where they tell you to stand. They say whenever you're ready, someone in the room reads with you, reads opposite you, and you perform. <laughs> and they say, thank you so much. And you go home and you wait and maybe the phone rings, maybe it doesn't. In this business, no news is bad news. So you just have to really trust and know that you did a good job. And hopefully that is true. Um, but more than anything, you wanna just be prepared. You wanna study as much as you can. Uh, don't procrastinate. Don't wait until the last minute. And you want to be confident. And you can naturally get nervous in the beginning, but the more you do it, the more often it will feel like second nature and it'll be exciting. I always tell my students to turn nerves into excitement. So again, that's a very broad question because it just depends on what you are auditioning for. But I hope that helps you. And for anyone else watching, click the link in my bio for more help and more ways to prepare for future auditions. Best of luck, everybody. Don't stop dreaming. Bye.